Hello everyone, I'm Hillary with Dominion Tea. And today we're gonna help you with four tea suggestions for your New Year's resolutions. Or just maybe some habits you wanna change. So I'm gonna start with the first one and the one that we get the most requests for. What tea do I use if I need to replace my morning cup of coffee? So the biggest success we've had over the years has been um, suggesting Malti Assam Black. So Malti Assam Black is a cut tear curl tea, meaning that it is balled into a very, very small ball. In the process of doing that, uh, the tea is left dry and the liquid that comes out of it. This produces a very heavy mouthfeel, right? We use the term astringency, so it's gonna dry out your mouth a little bit, and a really intense flavor. This tea can absolutely hold cream and sugar if you need it, uh, but if you're looking for something that kind of sticks with you, this is a good tea to start with. The next request we get is, I wanna drink green tea, but I don't know where to start, or I don't like the fact that it's grassy. Well, we have to break it to you. Tea is a plant. It's kind of like a heavy leafy plant at that. It's gonna taste grassy, especially when the oxidation level is stopped at the 20% mark for green tea. So how do you get a lighter green tea that's not so grassy and in your face like matcha? You turn to the Chinese. So Luang Guapan, which uh, translates to melon seed tea, because uh, the leaves, when they unfurl from their curl, uh, are supposed to look like a melon seed, is a lighter green. What we mean by that is it's slightly sweeter on the finish, um, it's not as grassy, it's not to say it's not grassy, but it's not as grassy, and it's a softer tea in general. So it's an easy introduction into the world of green teas, and once you get used to that flavor, you can graduate on to other teas like Dragon Well. Now, the next one uh, is vanilla rooibos. So let's talk about caffeine-free and what you're going to drink at night. Right, so caffeine for tea, for a lot of us, is gonna stick in your bloodstream a heck of a lot longer than that cup of coffee. Uh, and so, especially for people who are caffeine sensitive, like myself, um, I've gotta cut my caffeine off at about three o'clock in the afternoon if I want a shot of sleep. So this is where I turn to rooibos. So why do I turn to rooibos? I am not the world's biggest fan of chamomile and lavender. Um, that's not to say they're not good. They've got their place. But for me, I want something a little bit heavier. Rooibos does um, a much closer job to mimicking black tea, even though it's not. And it is completely caffeine free. So you're not dealing with decaffeinated teas. Um, just as a side note, decaffeinated teas still contain caffeine. So if caffeine is your problem, I would highly recommend go to the world of herbals or tisanes, as the French call them, uh, and go caffeine free. So why rooibos? It's a little earthy. Like I mentioned, it's a little bit more like a black tea. I happen to like vanilla as well, so it's a good combination. And then, of course, last but not least, for our tea connoisseurs who are looking to expand your horizons and try something absolutely new and unique, I wanna draw your attention to Vietnam. So we have here um, the Vietnam Snowshawn White Tea Buds. These are coming off of 500 year old tea trees. These are the buds, not to the tea leaves, but to the actual um, branches off the tree. They are unique to the Vietnam cultivar of the tea plant. Uh, they're woody, they are hard. Um, they brew though, like a white tea. Uh, you are going to use boiling water with them. You are gonna steep it that five minutes and you're going to get an absolutely amazing cup that tastes like your white tea. It's gonna be slightly spicy, but still floral. And this gives you something completely new uh, to add to your tea bucket list. So for all of you who are busy planning what you're gonna do in 2021, try adding some of these to your to-do list uh, and your repertoire. And if you've got any questions or other ideas, please leave them in the comments. We hope you enjoyed learning more about tea with us. Hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when we add more videos to our channel. And check out the highlighted videos to learn even more about tea. And last but not least, you can check out all of the teas we talk about in our videos at dominiontea.com.